This is the main ULCC data center. It's 750 square meters of ISP class data center. We've made the facility as resilient as we can make it. And so therefore what we'd like to do is pass some of those benefits onto our customers. Security is paramount in any data center. Therefore we have security guards on site seven by 24 hours. However, we also have proximity tags within the room that will allow access and will log access into the facility. These use specially designed cards that work on the proximity tag, which will enable us to open the doors automatically and all of those accesses are logged. Apologies for the noise. Obviously, it's air conditioning. Um, we have air conditioning throughout the whole facility. The whole of the perimeter is protected with a flood detection system, which will allow us to detect early enough if there is water coming into the facility before it becomes a problem. Also around the perimeter there's a bund wall and also scoops for the air conditioning. The air conditioning we operate on five main units with a four plus one scenario so that we can actually run the whole facility with just four units which gives us in effect a hot standby. The whole of the air conditioning is fully resilient with resilient pumps and resilient cooling units on the roof and they are all DX units and they use water internally for as their refrigerant, so there's no refrigerant within the facility itself. All these red pipes above us are part of the fire protection system. We have two solutions here. We have a VESTA system for very early smoke detection and alarm, which will pick up smoke particles of maybe a failing power supply so that we can deal with them before they become a real problem. Additionally, we have an Argonite um, fire suppression system, which is a breathable gas and is left in automatic 24-7. This will use chemical reactions to reduce the oxygen level, but not to harmful levels. As you'd expect with a data center, we use a lot of power. And all of that power is distributed using one of these four PDU units. These all go back to a central UPS pair, and each UPS is 250 kVA, three phase, with 30 minutes of autonomy on the batteries. This allows us to provide six amps of power to every rack in the room. This is the ULCC network. For all of our hosted customers, we can provide them network connectivity via the London Metropolitan Network and into SuperJanet 5. This is for our academic related customers who are obviously eligible for Janet. For our commercial customers, then we will provide them a link through our partner of Viatel and so they will also get commercial IP internet traffic. All of our connected customers through Janet will come back to this core switch down here and then this is in turn firewall so that we can protect our network as well as our customers' network if required. As part of the facility, we can offer co-location facilities. And we do this by the provision of either a quarter rack, as we have up here, or we can do a full rack just behind. So the full racks are 47U high, they're 1,000 deep, 800 wide, which is unusual for a co-location facility but we feel that the extra space will give you that extra room that you need. We deliver the power to it as power strips in the bottom of the rack. These are delivered at 32 amps each one so that we can actually accommodate extra power. Each supply is an A and a B all the way back to the main switch panel. So they are fully resilient. So where you have power or equipment that has dual power supplies, then you'll maintain it over a PDU failure or a power failure. So the co-location facility is scalable and we can scale from as small as one quarter rack up to a full rack or as this customer has done, 62 racks within the data centre. We offer four types of service. We can offer simple co-location or co-hosting whereby you, the customer, is responsible for all of your equipment. So we will assist you initially to install it but then you're kind of on your own. The next step up from that is intelligent hands. So we will provide you with a pair of hands that will power cycle a box, tell you what error messages are on the, the screen, that sort of thing. And it's very, very basic, but it will save you having to come to site for the, the trivial things. After that, we can do operating system hosting. Operating system hosting is where we will manage the operating system for you. Typically Windows or Linux, Solaris, a few others. Um, but you will retain access of the application. This allows kind of a two-handed approach and it also allows you to still feel in control of running the service. So our top of the range service is our managed service. This is where we will look after the operating system and the applications that run on it. So it is a full service that you will subscribe to. We will also take care of things like networking, firewalling, 
backups both on site and off site and will also mean that you don't necessarily have to buy your own equipment to go into the space.